watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. We're going to be taking a look at an older Rough Rider today. It comes in this box. This old style yellow box with the R.I. spelling on Rough Rider. We've got the guy on the horse in the oval shoe and the oval picture here. And there's the barcode on this side. And we're looking at model number RR119. So what that is is this guy. We've got a orange smooth bone sunfish. Close length on this guy is about four and a quarter inches, maybe just shy of that. And we have the orange smooth bone material with the round horseshoe shield that Rough Rider used many years ago. Now this one came out according to the material I have in 2003. You appear to get brass springs here, nickel silver bolsters on either side with a ring, and you can get a good look at that orange smooth bone material there. Now, it's a big hefty sunfish treated to some pretty nice handles here. You can get a lot of material here to enjoy on these larger size knives. So the orange smooth bone meets up well with the bolsters. You really don't have any problems with stepping or anything. It's nice and smooth across the pins on either side here. But you do have a little bit of a problem here on the back. As you can see, there's some gapping here. But you do get the brass liners on these stainless springs. And uh, again, that's a just shy of four and a quarter inches in the closed position. Let's take a little peek at the blades here. Of course, the sunfish has... Typically, from Rough Rider has these very nice spear point blades. Now, this one has the nail nick that's match strike. And it's kind of the more coarse looking one. And then you get the anvil on the blade edge here on the blade. It just says tested sharp. And then the RR in the middle. And then of course we get this older script style tang stamp. But no swedging or anything like that on this blade. There's a good look at the blade edge. Not exactly even, much broader here at the tip. But if you look at the other side, you can see it's not exactly uh ground evenly but appears to have a pretty decent sharpness to it and the back side of the tang you don't have anything at all but you do have that 440 razor sharp etched onto the blade there razor sharp steel and you don't really actually get China on the blade anywhere on this one. But it is made in China. And these are 440A stainless blades. Get a really nice pull on these. I'd say that's about a 7.5. A, a little stiff on the middle portion. It needs a little lubrication, I think. It's getting better, though. It's loosening it up. Here's this. Well, let's measure this blade first. You get a right at three inch blade with the cutting edge of about two and three quarter. Uh, you get the mirror finish. These are definitely finger break, finger print catchers. And uh, here's the secondary blade. Again with that coarse style nail nick on it. And you don't get anything on the the tang just blank. There's a look at the other There's side. There's a look at the edge. And then the 
opposite side. Again, you get pretty respectable evenness on this one compared to the main blade. It appears to be pretty sharp. Not the pointiest of knives, but that's kind of the spear point for you. And you don't have any half stops on these, but you do have good snap. Again, with the seven pole, I'd say. This is such a beefy knife. One of the great things about this one is just the durability and the beefiness of this particular pattern. It's a very stout knife. Let's take a look at the weight of it. So we have a 5.72 ounce knife there. That's pretty hefty. It's going to be heavier than most Rough Riders that you see. 5.7 ounces. Eh, it's a pretty, pretty stout knife. As a comparison, buck knife 110 is a 7.3 ounces. So you're getting up there in weight. You can see that the blades are well tucked in there. You don't have any problems with rub. But yeah, the sunfish is a. It's just a fun pattern. Really starting to learn to appreciate this knife when I first got the Blue Mule series one and I really felt felt like it was much better than I had anticipated when I got it in hand. It's one of these kind of knives I think uh, that grow on you the more you handle them. You know they're they're not the lightest carry nor the smallest carry but if you want something really durable and beefy something that's going to be able to do some hard use. Now this is uh, it's an all around knife. can pretty much do just anything you might ask of it. So Not a whole lot of limitations with this one. Now you're not going to be able to use it as a skinner necessarily or something like that but you would probably need a longer blade but it's got its uses. The spear point blade is you know, it's on a lot of camping knives and things like that for a reason. It's a very utilitarian type knife that has a broad range of uses. So it's definitely a, a style blade that uh, you can get away with doing a lot of different things with. But, you know, hunting knife, it's not. But it is a very cool pocket carry. And you're definitely not going to lose this one because you're going to know it's there. But starting to uh, gather a little bit of a collection of these guys. And uh, these have a really good uh, aftermarket uh, appeal because uh, they seem to go for a decent amount of money. Certainly more than uh, the retail price. I think I paid 24 for this one. But I've seen them go for much higher than that. So I felt like I was pretty fortunate to have gotten it at that price. But there you go, guys. There's my review of the RR119 Rough Rider Orange Smooth Bone Sunfish. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you're made aware of videos when they drop. And as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care.